So let's talk about actually getting registered for an event. I'm currently logged in as the support at scorechaser.com account that we created together. And I'm on the home page in navigation where I'm looking at a featured tournament, one of the pro clubs. I can click right here to register for this event, or I can also go to the tournaments listing and search for them in this very familiar format and click on details to see an event overview that includes the regular pricing for the event also a link to get registered, or I can click right here to register as well. Because I have an account with Score Chaser, my personal information is already pre-filled, so I can very easily move on to my squatting requests. To add people to the squad, I can look them up by their NSCA number, or simply type in their name and look for their number that way. So let's add a couple people here that I like to shoot with. and you'll see their names pop over here in the requested squad. If you have somebody that you cannot find by typing in their name, let's say Barb, who does a lot of the squatting for my shoots, she's not a member right now. So we can go in and type her name and her email address and include her to my squatting requests. We'll move on to events and options now where I can select all of the events that I want to register for, any options I want to play, and my rotation. One great thing about Score Chaser that I'm sure all of you will learn to love is that as soon as you select which rotation you would like, Score Chaser gives you a visual calendar layout of when that event will take place so that you don't push yourself in putting too many events too close together even though the allotted time allows you to do so. So I'm gonna pick all three of these events that we've set up as a test for the South Carolina Sporting Clays Championship. And let's say I pick a time that is a con conflict with the main event. So these two events are too close together, so you'll see it appear in red. So we'll try a different time here. And that actually works out and gives me a great amount of space in between the events so that I don't get too hot or too worn out. In the next part, we're gonna move on to amenities. This is where you're going to reserve a golf cart. You might end up um, reserving an RV space. You might pick your t-shirt size. It just depends on what the club would like you to fill in there. And then any special notes that you have related to your registration. Finally, you're gonna move on to the payment section, which allows you to enter your credit card information. Choose whether you would like to pay a deposit or pay in full and it gives you a summary of everything that you've currently registered for. So here, I'm just gonna type in my credit card information. I'm going to put in a bogus card for now. It's going to say that my card has been securely entered and allow me to register paying that full amount of $6.93. We'll get a confirmation page here in just a second where I can print the PDF report showing my full schedule and everything that I've registered for, or I can just view all of that on the screen here. And there it goes, that popped up there, everything that I've registered for, amenities included, squatting requests made. When you successfully complete your registration, you'll also get an email confirmation from the Score Chaser system. This allows you to download your full PDF registration report that we just looked at. It gives you your billing information and shows you when, uh, date and time that your, char your charge occurred to your card, and a general summary of your events, options, and amenities. At the bottom of that automated email, you'll find a registration link that will allow you to update or make any changes that you need to. Additionally, anybody that you listed in your squatting requests 
that is not already registered for that tournament will receive an email that invites them to sign up for the shoot. So you remember that I asked to shoot with Lois. All she has to do is click this register for tournament link to get signed up for the South Carolina State. Here's the one that went to Homer, Lane, and also to Barb, who was an unregistered shooter. So now when I'm logged into my support at scorechaser.com account and I'm on my homepage, I'm actually gonna see what is next upcoming for my own registration. Before I saw any featured tournament and that was because I was not registered for anything. But now that I'm registered for the South Carolina State, any featured tournaments are gonna show up here in the right hand navigation. I again get to see that kind of visual calendar layout that makes it very easy to see what days I have free and where I can fit in more events. I can view overall tournament details, I can update my registration, or I can access my receipt again from here. You can also still go to tournaments and see the list if you wanna register for more. And when I go to my scores now, you're gonna see this tournament in your list where you can also access your entrant report, which includes your schedule and your receipt. And then I'm gonna be able to monitor my own personal scores for each of the events that I registered for.